Okay, hello everyone. This is Bandit level 20 to level 21. Um, with a level goal that there is a set UID binary in the home directory that does the following. It makes a connection to localhost on the port you specify as a command line argument. It then reads a line of text from the connection and compares it to the password in the previous level. That's the password for Bandit 20. If the password is correct, it will then transmit the password for the next level, the password for Bandit 21. Uh, we have this note, which I'm not going to um, worry about right now, but I am going to try and explain this block of text we've just read. What does it mean? Um, you, it's, it's quite self-explanatory, but there's some new ideas here that we have to sort of try and um, work with. So we're going to specify to this program, this SU Connect program, a port. It's then going to try and connect to the local host um, on that specific port. It then says it wants to read from the connection a line of text, which means it's going to be expecting a line of text sent along that connection. Uh, if that line of text is the password for level 20, you know, the program will then send back along that connection the password for level 21. So what this means is for us to, to do this, we have to be listening on a, on a specific port and we have to be the ones that send the password to the program uh, which obviously brings up the question of how do we do that well I don't know if you remember um, from before but I mentioned this in one of the previous exercises that, that Netcat can be used to listen as a server on specific ports whichever port we give it um, I think it says down here somewhere as well. Yeah, Netcat can also function as a server by listening for inbound connections on arbitrary ports and then doing the same reading and writing. So, what that means is that with the listening flag, L, and the port, um, and I'm going to use the v, v flag as well, which is for verbose, like I've mentioned before, um, just so that we get a bit more information. Um, is that we can we can sit with Netcat and listen on some random port that we specify. We can then use the set UID binary to connect to that port and then through Netcat we can send the password for level 20 back to the program where it's then going to read correct compare it correctly and send us back the password for level 21. Okay? Um, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to open up another terminal. So we're going to use this terminal on the right to listen for the connection. Now at the moment I'm on my machine so I need to log into um, the Bandit machine because otherwise I'm not going to be on localhost. So Bandit20 Bandit.labs.overthewire org on port 2220 and I've already got the password for bandit20 on the clipboard okay so we're going to use netcat so netcat and we're going to use the L flag we're also going to use the verbose flag and the P flag for the port and I'm just going to specify some random um, port 9999 okay and we hit enter and you see how Netcat tells us that it's listening on 9999. So it's it's awaiting a connection. Um, so we need to connect to it. We connect to it on this side um, by using the SU Connect set UID. So if we just look, you know, the usage is SU Connect and then a port number. And it will pro the program will connect to the given port on localhost using TCP, uh, and then await for the correct password. So we use SU Connect, and we specify 9999, and we hit enter. And you see how immediately something happened over here. It received a connection from localhost. Um, oh, sorry, we've connected to localhost, and we received the connection from localhost. So it's from the machine to itself, and you can see how net how the SU connect 
opened a connection on this port 45406. So now we've got this connection, a TCP connection between these two terminals essentially. Um, so we need to we need to send the password back to this program. So paste the password in here. So we hit enter to send it across the connection. It reads it over here. The pass the the program acknowledges that it's the correct password, and it sends back the password for level twenty one. How cool is that? So I like that it's starting to get a little bit more interesting now, the, the exercises. Um, but yeah, just how amazing that we can use these like these really sort of simple commands and set up servers and sort of send information across back and forth across ports and um, it's brilliant. Uh, I think it's quite exciting and I hope I hope you find it exciting too. So that's the password for level 21. I hope that made sense and um, I shall see you in the next one.